Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my two informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And today we're going to ask the question, does Cali Muscle use synthol in his biceps? So let me put on my plus five out of weapons, Billy. Work on skill in my crafting a little bit and let's talk about this. All right, uh, I'll be honest with you guys. This was not my own idea. I didn't even think about it. Someone I know who watches my videos and watches a lot of YouTube fitness uh, pointed out to me the other day, it's like I went and watched that video that uh, you mentioned with his bicep training. He has his, he's got synthol in his biceps. It's like he's got synthol in his biceps. And the guy who told me this is an enhanced lifter himself. Okay, dude ain't natty. Um, and you know, he hangs around in a lot of circles of dudes who aren't natty. And he said, yeah, he, he's definitely got oil in those biceps. It's very obvious to me. And that's what he said. And I went and looked at the video and pretty suspicious. Now, we all know that Callie's going to see this because he always replies. It's hilarious. He's going to reply with, oh, oh, listen here. That Jason Blue Blah over there acting like he's making bullets. Listen up, acting like he's making bullets. Talking about how me, Cali Muscle, putting synth oil in my biceps. If you hate me, player, you hate God. Bop, bop. Listen up. When I was in the penitentiary, we didn't have access to no synth oil. We had to make do with what we had. We had to come in and get a pump on our biceps. And then we had to go to the kitchen and take the used cooking oil they've been frying fish in. And then you had to go to the triage and you trade a carton of cigarettes for some alcohol wipes and some syringes. And then you take the Debo and you crush it up and you mix it in that oil. And you got you got to get it in there after you got a pump in them biceps. So you got to get the pump. That's how you do it. And, and you know, we didn't care about infections. We had uh, uh, medics on staff, socialized medicine in the penitentiary. We didn't care. They give us some antibiotics. <laughs> you know, he's going to reply, reply with something like that. It's going to be a colorful tale about his days in the penitentiary. But the thing is, before we even go through, I'm going to just look, I'm going to flip through some pictures. Take a look at some pictures uh, that I'm going to flip through just so you kind of see the arms. Now, if you watch his actual arms when he's curling, you're going to see a lot more of what I'm talking about. But before I go into this, a lot of people are going to say, well, why Callie's big? Why would he need to do that? Why would he do that? Well, he hangs in competitive bodybuilding circles and it's well known that side enhancement is not the exception to the rule. It's the norm in hardcore bodybuilders. It's the norm. It's the majority. And anyone who thinks he wouldn't do that, look at what else he does. The guy doesn't really care about his health. He eats tons of fried fish, fried tuna, top ramen, all sorts of junk food. He eats junk food. Uh, he brags all the time about selling cocaine. He makes jokes about using cocaine. All right. We know from the WFN scandal and even uh, Richard Rodriguez saying that he demanded massive amounts of, of product. He was mailed tons of drugs. They had all the packing slips. That's all been seen. Everyone's seen Johnny Bravo released all that. Uh, with all the packing slips, tracking information, uh, contracts signed with Cali Muscle. So we know he uses anabolics. We don't even, I mean, you should be able to know you look at his stats. You should be able to tell he uses a ton of stuff. But we have other evidence outside of just visual so that people can say, oh, he's just really genetically gifted and trained. He don't train that hard. First of all, yeah, he's probably genetically gifted, but you're not going to be able to pull that when you have all these contracts and endorsements with a with an underground lab that was distributing illegal anabolics uh, while pretending they were legal, and he signed for packages and had packages shipped to him at a contract, and part of that contract agreed to get free drugs. I mean, let's be realistic here. Is anyone under any illusions about this that he he wouldn't inject stuff into his body? Now particularly his arms. Because the thing is, when you look at his arms uh, in any of those videos, his biceps are not only disproportionately large, 
they're not really even fully bicep shaped. They have that round bubble. And the way that they hang, uh, again, indicative of some stuff being in there. Indicative of stuff being in there. It doesn't necessarily mean it's synthol, but there's definitely side injections because you guys got to remember a lot of bodybuilders out there use so much gear that they don't need to use synthol because they have so much extra oil that they just pin it all where they want it to go. Uh, again, Rich Piana stacks, Boston Lloyd stacks, you don't need side enhancement with somebody that they got to put it somewhere, and a lot of those guys put it in their arms and delts. But, you know, again, look at the overall shape, the overall structure. Look at the fact of how he has to train his biceps. You don't really see him doing a lot of big heavy weights anymore. Why do you think that is? You don't see him doing the things that you know work for natties for biceps. Because he can't perform. Um, that's why he has to do all this machine stuff and then you can't see how much weight he's got there. Uh, because the truth is people can argue all they want that... Well, you know, he gets the pump, but here's the thing. Pump without progressive overload doesn't produce muscle growth in a lab. It doesn't. You have to have progressive overload. Uh, pump can be indicative. It can be a sign of metabolic fatigue, so it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not the driving force behind muscle growth. And all he talks about is getting a pump in his biceps. All he talks about, we never see how much weight he uses. We don't know if there's any progressive overload. Again, it's a method that works just for guys on drugs, but particularly guys who use sight enhancement. It's always about the pump for them and that because they pump everything up, they stretch the muscle fascia out, they pin the stuff in it while it's all pumped, tends to stretch things out further, allows the synthol and the oil to spread further between the muscle fibers. That's the textbook protocol for training a muscle for anyone who's going to sight enhance. They always train for the pump of that muscle. And I get it, because it has more to do with spreading that oil through. And that's the way he trains his biceps. But more importantly, watch the way they move. If you look at it, again, it's very clear that there's a significant amount of oil in his arms. There's a significant amount of oil there. Uh, and as far as that goes, that's not really a judgment call. That's just calling it like it is, because uh, it's just noticeable. Uh, I mean, if people want to say, well, why are you going to bad talk? I'm not bad talking. There's plenty of stuff we can say about Cali muscle that's bad. Uh, I don't really care if someone uses sight enhancement. That doesn't necessarily make you a bad person any more than a woman getting boob jobs makes her a bad person. I don't think it does. But it does go with the fakery because that's what he is. This is a guy who pretends to be a role model, even though he's been in prison multiple times. Admitted multiple time violent fella, brags about it all the time while pretending he, he spreads a message of positivity and uplifting the community, but all he talks about is how to get big in prison. Does a whole series on how to get big in prison. He brags about, and it's not like, man, I used to be a bad person. It's like, no, he brags about, I used to get $20,000 for a bag of cocaine like this. I used to rob people with a pistol. But it's never, I used to be a bad person and I'm a good guy now. It's bragging. It's like Jerry Ward's story time about his drug abuse. You know, he tells these stories like they're war stories, like he's proud of them. And that's the difference, you know. It's one thing to have done bad stuff in your past and to, and to mention it in passing. Because we've all done bad things. But there's a difference between bragging about it. Like, it, it, the way that he does it is, a, is bragging about it. He portrays it as positive. All right, that's stuff that we could say bad about Cali Muscle. We could say that Cali Muscle tries to pretend like he's about fitness and promotes fitness, but eats garbage junk food every day. Eats unhealthy food, cooks unhealthy food. We could say that. That would be negative things to say about the guy. They'd be true. He does. He brags about being a violent felon. He brags about going to prison. He brags about being a gang member. He brags about distributing large amounts of cocaine. Brags about being an armed robber. Promotes people eat junk food and top ramen and tuna and all this other crap. And the trans fats, mercury, 
fries tuna in oil on camera to eat it as if this is healthy eating. We can say, oh, that's bad things. He promotes a bad image. So there's a lot of stuff we could say about him that's, that's not so good that are way worse than somebody using synthol. So, I mean, that's kind of the interesting question at the end of the day. You know, is the synthol that big of a deal compared to the other stuff? No, not really. It really isn't. Not even close. But it does go hand in hand. There's a guy who wants to put out videos on arm workouts and how to get big biceps who it looks like he's got sight enhancement in those biceps. Why does he give that protocol? He's a guy who abuses a lot of drugs, admittedly. Well, at least there's evidence out there. He won't admit to it, but there's evidence. Plenty of it. Uh, looks like he's using sight enhancement in his arms when you look at him. And they are, his biceps are disproportionately large compared to the rest of his upper body. It's disproportionate. Which again, goes hand in hand with sight enhancement. There's probably some in his belts too. But then wants to tell you that this is how you get big arms because it's the, the key is to train on machines. The key is to train on machines. Well, really, Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't have a lot of trouble getting really big biceps without training on machines. Funny how that works. You know, he acts like machines are the key. Machines aren't the key to anything. Uh, getting a pump, training on machines, that's your secret. So, you know what? Let's just be honest, guys. You really think any of you are going to get arms that size by focusing on the pump and training on machines? You really think that's the secret? Or do you think it's a combination of anabolics and sight enhancement? Come on. It's all about fakery. The end of the day, he's just a thug. Just a thug. He likes to brag about being a violent felon. Brag about being a drug dealer. Brag about robbing people. And pretending that he's a positive influence with a positive message. It's a positive message, supposedly, but anyone who talks bad about him, like he said about me and uh, Johnny Bravo both that we were demons and that God was going to send us to hell for talking bad about him when he's doing all this awful stuff. That's not a positive role model. He doesn't have a positive message. Not even close. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.